for the do flight crew ftc flight team stand up why you lie it's july hey check me out you guys um now a lot of people were kind of low-key furious at the last um uh 2020 nba draft prospect that i reacted to that, that uh said that the Warriors were gonna pick number one anthony edwards I honestly didn't know anything about him, and I was just freaking shook. You know what I'm saying? We literally have another Trace McGrady about to come into the league, and I don't know why that was, you know, that, that, that just, you know, triggered some people. But apparently some people that claim they're NBA analysts, they don't understand that Klay Thompson is always in constant trade talks. You know what I'm saying? So why not think about getting a guard? But at the same time, the Warriors, what they really, really need is versus needs and wants. We really want a nice another star shooting guard, but we really need, you know what I'm saying, a center or power forward, another big man. And James Wiseman is supposedly supposed to be the best big man coming into the draft. I don't know. This is another player I honestly don't even know anything about. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're going to start fresh. I'm going to honestly start watching college basketball and college football again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's weird. Like, it's like a weird shift of energy. Like, it's now getting excited to how it was back in the day when it was, like, the early 2000s going up until, like, 2010. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, yeah, bro. So, and apparently, you know, this James Wiseman dude, it looks like he plays for Memphis. Was Ironically, it was actually my favorite college basketball team back in the day before I stopped watching college basketball. Um, with Derrick Rose and everything like that. You know, who do we, what you know about the old team? Derrick Rose, CDR, a.k.a. Chris Douglas Roberts. Um, who else you had? You had um, uh, uh, Joey Dorsey. Come on now. Stop fucking with me, man. Come on, bro. Real knowledge over here. But check me out, bro. We don't check out James Wiseman, bro. I don't know what his NBA comparison is. We're going to be NBA Scout React now Edition. Basketball seasons. Your officials for tonight, Park Lennox, Zelton Steed, and All right, so he's doing it. Post game. How tall is he? He looks like he's about seven foot. He literally looks like he's seven foot one. Tigers break it easily. Boogie Ellis for three. Okay. Okay. I like the energy. I like the energy. I like the energy. Okay. I wonder if he can shoot. Now, it's not really required for a center to shoot, but it's just a plus. Okay. 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 I'm getting a little bit of AD vibes. Maybe Daryl Chocolate Thunder Dawkins. You know what I'm saying? That's an NBA Street uh, Volume 2 nickname, by the way. But uh, Daryl Dawkins, all jerks aside, you don't know who Daryl Dawkins is. I'm getting a little bit of those vibes. AD and Daryl Dawkins a little bit. Come on, you got to make those lamps, bro. I would have made that. You got it back, though. I'm going to look up how tall he is on my phone. So I'm looking down at my phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm paying attention to the video, though. I want to see how tall he is, though, you guys. I'm really curious. James Wiseman. 7-1. Bro, I guess his height right, man. He literally is 7-1. I like it. I like it. He has a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Nice. You got to make that shot at least and put it up. He, gotta, he, he has to get in the weight room a little bit too, a little bit more. At about 10 pounds of muscle. He's definitely another Anthony Davis, though. So far, what I'm looking at. Maybe need to see some more. You need to see some defense possessions, too. We're in a defense. That's what we asked for. He boxes out pretty good, too. Runs the transition well. Oh! Oh, shit! Bro! Bro, that was fucking dangerous, bro. Fam. He got to practice gripping the ball better, too, bro. He, he loses the ball on the way up. I thought he was about to dump that shit. It looked dangerous as hell, bro. Looks like he can make his free throws. So, uh, I guess he's going to be another one and done, too, like the last one we reacted to. Uh, Anthony Edwards. Jeffrey, Holy fucking shit. Time. Yeah, he's definitely another Anthony uh, uh, Davis. Definitely another AD right now. But maybe, I don't know, because he can't. I haven't seen him shoot the ball either. Anthony Davis can shoot. Maybe I gotta give him a different comparison. 
Just nobody who can cover this guy. And especially when you have a freshman Simmons. Job coming up shooting the ball. They find themselves down by 14 points, Greg, and they play well. Nice. You gotta block that. It's my type of block. You're literally 7 1. You gotta block that. Jeffries. For Wiseman, he's backed out by Neal. Why was this in the highlight? Double, double. Free throws. Five for five from the free throw line. It's a one and one. He makes the first. Really, how inconsistent they are. Even though they're talented, the first 12 minutes, certainly not a Picasso. What the fuck? Oh, that's, that wasn't him that was shooting. Yeah, I've seen him basically dominate inside game. I haven't seen him shoot the ball, so I can't compare him to Anthony Davis. He got to be like a... Run that. It's pretty fast for a center at 7-1. It's good, too, that he, he went to Memphis. Memphis has, like, a lot of success rate when they go to the NBA for most stars. They used to have, like, John Calipari and shit. Yeah, Heisman got the defense. Wiseman got the defense. Yeah. Maybe like a. I can still say Anthony Davis because he has his form and shit. And the, he, he's another Anthony Davis that can't shoot for now. You can always develop a shot. He's a smaller Anthony Davis, or I could say a Walmart Anthony Davis in a Dikembe Mutombo offensive version. Yeah. Walmart version Anthony Davis slash Dikembe Mutombo offensive version. Pretty solid pick. I feel like if he went to the NBA, it'll take him like three years to develop into an all-star center. I wouldn't see him coming into the league just being an all-star right away, though. To be honest with you, the Warriors are better off picking. I stand with my decision. I stand. They, they still got to pick that Anthony Edwards dude. They have to, bro. It doesn't matter if they already have guards. Because that's like, that's, like, that's like Tracy McGrady being in the draft right now. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't even got we, we think about some other player. What if like a Damian Lillard right now was in the NBA draft right now, or another Kyrie Irving was in the draft right now? You're telling me you wouldn't pick him number one even if you have Steph Curry? Like, let's have common sense right now. Like the James Wiseman dude, I'm not saying he won't be an All Star. I feel like it's gonna take him like two to three years because he's still. I still haven't seen one possession where he shoots anything outside the gray or the paint area. You know what I'm saying? I can shoot physically more consistently than him right now. You know what I'm saying? Put me in a shootout right now in a three-pointer, I'm, I'm destroying him instantly. You know what I'm saying? He needs to get a consistent jump shot. That's like the first mid-range shot I've seen him take. That's outside the paint. He has amazing paint skills. You know what I'm saying? Good defense. The defense is A+, plus, without a doubt. You know, defense wins championships. You know, because at first I wasn't trying to be... I feel like it would have been insulting if I compared him to Tyson Chandler because he does remind me of a Tyson Chandler, the Hornets version, not the washed-up version where he went to, like, I forgot the other teams he went to. He, the Hornets version with CP3 and Tyson when he was in the playoffs. But I feel like, in all honesty, he's a Walmart Anthony Davis that, that can't shoot yet. You know what I'm saying? He can still develop a jump shot. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about maybe comparing him to Amari Stoudemire, but Amari Stoudemire was able to have it. He had a consistent mid-range and a little bit of a three, so you can't, you can't say that. So, a Walmart Anthony Davis slash offensive Dikembe Mutombo. Now, what I mean by offensive Dikembe Mutombo, Dikembe Mutombo has that type of form, but he, he wasn't a good finisher. He was just more on defense. Like, he has the defense and the offense, so, like, he's more offensive, though. So, those are my comparisons, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like the Warriors will low-key take an L if they select them number one, especially if the Warriors, you know, when the Warriors have the number one overall pick, they have to pick Anthony Edwards from what I'm seeing. Now, if there's somebody else, you know what I'm saying, let me know. We're doing a little bit of a little series here until, you know, the NBA season or until the, you know, one for one starts up and two, uh, the NBA draft actually happens and everything, you know. But I stand by the Warriors need to still take Anthony Edwards. You're pr pretty much, you know what I'm saying, have a team act. You know what I'm saying? You just can't t turn that down. You just can't. As usual, man, coming down below, that's your next man on the roads. And three, baby.